Hello there, my name is Vishal from my web and in this video I am going to build a brand.php file for a e-commerce website where I put my brand name with the fetching the selecting the category name. So uh, before doing that uh, I think we need to put the some links over in the sidebar. So I'm coming back to the my header.php file which are which are included in the includes folder. Here is my header.php file and as you can see here we have the category so in the line number 44 i just put the category dot php link i put the category dot php and in the brand link i put the brand dot php okay i just copy this name again and just save it and after that in the root folder of admin i will create a new file which is brand dot php Okay, and after that, uh, I will just refresh this page again for check it out. I am when I click on the brand, so it's, it's moved to the branded PHP file, and when I click on the category dot PHP, it's same as it's because it's 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 still here just because I'm already in the category dot PHP file. Now, uh, before doing anything, I just copy the whole code of this. Just copy the whole page. Of the category of PHP and paste it over here, and I change something from here. So start with the from the top. Okay, that's all the fine. Okay, I just uh, I just remove the this PHP code because we don't need right now. I clarify that all things, and I change with the brand. Add new brand. And change the class name of this button, which is also with the brand add underscore brand. And also change the name, change the ID of this brand model. And after that, um, I change the name of the model name, which is brand underscore name. Change it's, it's a label name actually. And it's a brand name, brand underscore name. Just copy this whole uh, name and paste it, replace with this category underscore name. Okay. And after that, uh, I'm going back to my main.js file, which is over here in the admin folder. And I just put a semicolon and I copy this same code as always. And I change the class name of the selector which is add underscore brand it's a selector name of this this button name it's a class add underscore brand so now nah. and also i change the id of the selector which is brand underscore model now nah, i just save this page and also okay add a new brand it's a replace with this with that model now nah, i just refresh this page Okay, I am going to go back to brand.php file actually. Okay, undefined variables. Okay, uh, okay, let's check before doing that. Add new brand, it's not working. Okay, let's see what's happening at there. Okay, uh, I just removed the, this table class for right now. Or uh, either just remove this PHP code and also I remove this position class for till now for checking out my page is working or not. Okay, so here we go. We have the our pop model of our brand brand. Now we need to add a select a drop down menu before doing that. Okay, so I'm going going back to my uh, model body and in the form tag and before the opening this. Uh, so the, before the brand name i take again a form group a form i take a form group and in the form group okay so also i put a comment over here for pitch the category list from database okay and after that take a select dot Form underscore 
select dot form hyphen control and I put the name which is a category it's a category underscore name and also same as like this ID okay I forgot to put the label so I take a label to for category underscore name and here we had the category underscore name okay and all things are okay now after that I just take some uh, dummy option over here value 0 and it's a category name 1 and here we have 2 okay now let's check and the refresh and now we have the category name and it's a category name 2 okay uh, okay I also put us a placeholder in this a uh, placeholder equal to brand underscore name and again refresh and check now we have the brand name placeholder is also put out at here and also change the some table of this uh, id category name date so i just change some table parameters like okay before doing that uh i think we need to some put some replace with some brand underscore id so brand underscore id and yeah the font type and all things are uh, okay now I just change some table name uh, like table row name brand name and also category name and refresh okay I also take a class um, I put the class in the empty three for make a distance between this button and table refresh okay now here we go so uh i think uh, all all the things are working fine now in the next video you are working on this working with this database and insert this uh, brand uh, brand form value into our database so meet you soon in the next video with the my brand database so stay with me happy coding thank you so much